another, but spiritually we receive it from the Lord. You have to receive it from from heaven. So I trust that uh, what I have to share with you this morning or this evening as we open up will uh, will you'll be able to receive as as from the Lord. You don't want to receive it as from as from me or as from brother uh, so and so or sister so and so. We want to receive from each other as from the Lord. Uh, so I'm going to start at a good good uh, starting place here in Isaiah chapter nine. In verse 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Now, I notice that he's, his, this is not a list of his names, but his name. His name shall be called. And there's, there's several names listed here, but he's, it's not called the names of the Son. This is the name That's right. of the Son. Yeah. In other words, these are not uh, rotating features of Jesus, that some days he's wonderful, but other days he's not, and yeah. some days he's counselor, but other days he's not. These are not names. These are his, his name. Yeah. and they're, they're, he, So he's wonderful all the time, That's right. and he's counselor all of the time. Is, this is his name. So who Jesus is is not hit and miss, and what Jesus does is not seasonal. His work is not, right. is not random. This is his name. He always is this, what God has said he is. Now, by some random chance, I may have a moment of genius. I don't know that I ever have, but it could happen. But that, wouldn't, that one moment of genius wouldn't mean that it wouldn't make me a genius. Just that one, that one moment. But who Jesus is, he always is. Amen. It's his, the, these, or this, is his, his name. Amen. Saul, King Saul, was an unpredictable guy. David never knew what kind of Saul that he was going to meet when he saw yeah. Saul. Yeah. Yeah, he could befriend him, he could uh, give a kind word to him, and he could uh, throw a spear at him just a moment, just a moment later. Yeah. I'm thankful that Jesus is not that way. Amen. He is, in fact, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. So whatever it is that you know about Jesus, that you fellowship with Jesus thus far, he still is that. Amen. He hasn't changed. Now think about when God names; it's always the right name. Yeah. It's always it's always a perfect name. It's not it's not embellished in in any way and it's not lacking in any way. Jesus was not named the mighty God in hopes that someday he would be something mighty. He was named mighty God because he is. Amen. It's appropriate. It's the appropriate name. Yes. Simon the sorcerer in the book of Acts was called the great power of God, but he really wasn't. People called him that. But, it, but he wasn't at all. But what God has called the Son, he really is. Yes. It's, not, it's, it's not that Jesus is like mighty God, and, or you could think of him as, as eternal Father. He is. This is his name. Jesus was named the mighty God. Now, think about this, that the eternal purpose of God is a man. We could say the eternal purpose of God is, is in a man, but it's not too much to say the eternal purpose of God or salvation in its totality is a man. It's in Him. So He's not giving us the name of a movement or the name of an establishment. He's giving us the name of a man, of His man. or we, The Scriptures called Him the man. The man, Christ Jesus. The Jews, by the time Jesus showed up on the scene in this world, the Jews were quite quite comfortable with their system and they it, it wasn't exactly because they had embellished what God gave them but they were they were quite fond of their system and they didn't like uh, anything disrupting it or causing problems to it they they grew fond of it but they so they liked this system that came from God but then they were offended at this man that came from God his his name shall be called not its name it's it's his name I've noticed that people can be very zealous for a movement, but then lukewarm for this man. And these things ought not to be. That God has put salvation in a man requires humility from all other men. You've got to see that. Because it's all given to him, then where then is pride? Where then is boasting? 
That's, that's a divine question. Where then is boasting? It's excluded. <clears throat> so we all need to take this tone. John the Baptist set the tone uh, for, for us. He said, he must increase and I must decrease. Yes. And we all, need to, we all need to adopt that. Yes. All men need to adopt that. He is. Jesus is the. He's not one of. He is the the scriptures say he's the only begotten, not an a begotten. He's the only begotten of God. He's the Lamb of God, not one of. He's the Lamb of God, and he's the Christ. That's because what Jesus does, only Jesus can do. Amen. There, there are no substitutes or fill-ins. Jesus is at the right hand of God, and he's, he's far above every other creature. And he's given a name that is above every, every other name. Heaven is taken with Jesus, and is, blessed is the man that's taken with Jesus. Yes. I like that heaven named Jesus. <clears throat> God said, this is my beloved son in whom I am, I am well pleased. Yes. But that's, a, that's good to just take that in and, and, and ask yourself, and at, even ask your brethren, are you well pleased with Jesus? God, when God commented on Jesus, he said, I'm well pleased. Amen. I'm well pleased with Jesus. Well, if you're, everybody that's well pleased with Jesus will follow him. Yeah. and will obey Him, yeah. and will believe Him, and will abide with Him, and will look for Him. You see how this all fits together beautifully. Amen. In whom I am well pleased. And God God didn't just keep that to Himself. He, he told all the angels, let all the angels of God worship Him. Yes. So He He brought everybody else uh, in into this as well. Just a few comments as we open here about, these, uh, about this name. I almost said these names. This name, wonderful. The word, just the word wonderful, one of the first definitions is miracle. And I thought, Jesus is not only a miracle worker, he is a miracle. <laughs> he's, the, he's the only one that is without sin. And the, the people that asked Jesus for a sign didn't realize they were asking the sign to give them a sign. He, he was born of a virgin. This is wonderful. Something's wonderful it, that it can't be, it can't be done by, by men. This is, it's wonderful. Another uh, ex, uh, definition is distinguished. Well, I thought, no, no one is more distinguished than Jesus. I don't mean distinguished as in, as in like what we think of, he's a distinguished looking gentleman. I mean distinguished as in unique. Right. That this, there is no one else like Jesus. That, that's what the Lord means when he says, when he says wonderful, he's using the word the way the word should be used. Wonderful. <clears throat> the only, in fact, the only normal thing about Jesus was his appearance. Mm -hmm. the, the, uh, apo the, the prophet Isaiah said he had no appearance that we should desire him. But that was the only thing normal. People looked at Jesus and couldn't tell that he was from heaven. But that was the only normal thing about Jesus. His name is wonderful. And counselor. Who better is qualified to counsel than the one who knows the hearts of men? Yeah. You know, we're... we're uh, I think there may be a, a little a little presumption when we say things like, "Well, I I know me better than uh, better than everybody else." Well, Jesus knows you better than you. Amen. <laughs> He's the counselor, the wonderful, the counselor. When we so when we see something in ourselves that needs to go, that needs to be put off, that needs to be mortified. In other words, when we're convicted, that means the Lord's been counseling. Yeah. We didn't just stumble on that. That's right. The Lord's been counseling. And who better to counsel uh, the one, who better to counsel than he who is in the bosom of the Father? No, no one knows the Father but the Son. Amen. So Jesus is not just counseling about us. In fact, a lot, I think a lot of the, the counseling that has to do with me is to get me out of the way so that the real subject can come through, which is God. It's to know God is eternal life. And no one's better qualified to counsel men on God than the one who is in the bosom of the Father. And he's the mighty God. The storm knew that Jesus was mighty. And it, it obeyed. No answer back, no delay. It just obeyed. The demons also knew he was mighty. He's worthy of our trust because he's mighty. And the everlasting Father... He's a, he's a father. He's a master as well, but he's, he's father. Slaves are trained, but sons are born. Amen. Jesus is everlasting father. Jesus is giving as many as God gives to him, then he gives life to them. And that See, he's father. Yeah. And in that way, then his generation 
as father. His generation is going to be so vast, no one can number it. Right. Who can tell his generation? He's everlasting father. And finally, prince of peace. He's, Jesus has made a peace that no one else has been able to make. Amen. Not even David, yeah. not Moses, not Abraham. Not, not Enoch who never died. He couldn't make the peace that Jesus made. Jesus made peace between God and man who were enemies. They were at enmity with one another. And Jesus, the, being the prince of peace, he, he made peace between God and man. But Jesus also made peace between you and your own heart. Have you ever heard your heart condemn you? Have you ever had a conscience that accused you? Yeah. I know you have. Yeah. We all have. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. He is the Prince of Peace. He can make peace. That, that's what happens when He takes away sin and washes you from sin in your own blood. You can be at peace with your own heart. Thank you, you can be at peace with your own conscience because He takes away the sin of the world. Amen. I praise God for this one that God has given us. Amen. Our Father in Heaven, we thank You for Jesus. And we pray, Lord, that as we uh, sing tonight, as we uh, preach tonight and pray and, and uh, come around the Lord's table tonight, we pray that He would increase and that we would decrease. In Jesus' name, amen.